Hey guys, it's Corinne and welcome back to another video on our channel. Um, so today I wanted to do the ethnicity tag or my DNA results. Um, it's actually been over a year, actually probably a couple years now since I did the DNA test through Ancestry.com and I was meaning to do a video and a but I was meaning to do a video on it um, like right when I got the results like do a reaction video to like what I am but a lot of stuff was going on at that time and I totally just forgot about it didn't have time and so I never did it and I just saw the results and that was that um but i was super shocked about my results um i was not expecting it whatsoever to be how it was i mean i was there was a little bit that was like i had a clue like that's what i would be but yeah it was kind of kind of half and half like half shocked half not so yeah um I am big into family history, ancestry, that type of stuff. Um, it is a big hobby of mine, other than traveling and adventure and Disney stuff, but um, it's a huge hobby of mine. I have a whole drawer and filing cabinet full of my ancestry and DNA stuff. And the reason I wanna make this video now is because not only do I want to record it, to share to you guys and let you know what my DNA and my genes are from um, or where they're from sorry um, but I also want to encourage you guys to do it as well um, and I'm also going to be taking another test soon um, the one I did now like I have done is through ancestry.com and it's amazing I have an account on there I'm part of the membership, it's amazing. Um, but uh, me and my husband Ryan are also going to be doing another ancestry test coming up here within the next couple months. Um, uh, it's gonna be the 23andMe DNA test. So, and it's including the health um, genetic testing as well. So I think that's really cool about 23andMe is that you can not only learn your genetics and your ancestry and your haplogroup and like all the scientific genes of your ancestry and where you come from but also they do a health side to it as well so that you can learn and know about your health and your wellness and what your genes say about like your wellness and also if you're a carrier for some diseases um like if you're wanting to start a family and you're worried that possibly i mean it, like cystic fibrosis or sickle cell anemia uh that those type of things um if you are a carrier for that gene um so that's also why me and my husband are doing it just to be aware like i think it would be really it'd be a really good idea to be aware of what your genes are what your dna says what your chromosomes are saying and be aware as a fam like for the future of your family um i kind of just want to make sure there's no issues in my genes that say oh you're a carrier for this gene and so is your husband well now you have this certain amount of chance to pass that on to your children so um that's really awesome it does so it does a wellness report a um genetic carrier report um and it can also you can also go further with that and get tested for um your likelihood or your risk of getting certain cancers um by the results of your genes and DNA and what they found. So just to kind of be aware and knowledge is power, I guess, is what um, a lot of people say. 
knowledge is power and if you know and you know that you have a higher risk for certain things you can be proactive and change your lifestyle to you know try and combat that so um so that's another reason why i want to do this video just to record what ancestry.com um their dna uh test showed for me and my genes and my dna um because then at a later date within the next couple or a few months um i'll be doing a 23 and me dna uh test result video so it'd be kind of cool to compare and stuff so yeah um and i i highly recommend doing one of them um ancestry.com or 23andme uh with the health um because it's important and i at least personally i think it's very important and it makes you feel like you're part of something bigger when you do these kind of tests. Um, shows where you come from, you feel like you have a higher, higher purpose, a higher knowledge of yourself um, than you did before, which is true. I found it amazing. So, um, and it's very important to know who you are, I think. That's why I, I'm in love with ancestry and family history because um, I find it incredibly amazing to be able to see how we are all connected together. So yeah, I just love it. It's amazing. But yeah, I find it very enlightening and important to do no matter who you are. So I kind of just wanted to get this out there and then kind of just have some fun and show you guys what my DNA says about me. So let's get started with that. I will show you my computer screen now. Okay guys, so this is my screen. Um, when you log into your Ancestry account, um, shows your activity, etc. And then, so to find your DNA results, you will go up to DNA, your DNA results summary, click on that, and then it will show your show you your estimate with the pie graph, um, your DNA matches. So if you go in here, you can see this person has a possible range of fifth to eighth cousin, confidence is moderate, and yeah, you can find kind of your relatives that way through your DNA. <clears throat> and then also the DNA circles, which um, shows you your great, great, great um, grandparents um, and how other people are related to you in that DNA circle. Um, so it shows like these people, they're connected with me to this grandparent here. So it kind of connects you with everybody, which is kind of cool um, if you're into that kind of thing. But let's get into the ethnicity estimate that I was given by Ancestry. So I click there and this is my result. And I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I was really shocked. Um, I got 100% Europe. So I am... 100% European. Um, I didn't, I wasn't, I knew I was a lot and mainly Europe, from Europe, um, but I thought I'd at least have like a little bit of a variety, but I guess not. <clears throat> but I'm definitely a white person, for sure. Um, and this really made me like, what? Great Britain. I'm 56% Great Britain. So you click on there and it shows, it pops up this screen and it shows on the on the um, map where this grouping is and so it's the United Kingdom um, and so the prim it's primary, primarily located in England, Scotland, and Wales. So in that whole region and then it kind of branches off. It like filters out a little bit um, to out in this area here as well. 
but it's mainly concentrated here um, as a DNA match. So, um, and then it shows you as you go down, um, it'll show you your comparison to a typical native person in that specific region. And as you can see, um, there's me and that's a typical native. That's their range um, as a native person that actually lives there. So I am right in that native range. So you've heard it here, folks. I am officially a typical native of Great Britain. I am a native Brit, apparently. So that's really awesome because I love England, I love the United Kingdom, and I love their accents. Now that I know I'm a, I am a typical native with my genes and DNA, um, I really wish I could have that British accent because it's my favorite and I think it's absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, I, I wish, but I am just an American. So, um, but yeah, I find that really cool that I'm a native or considered, a, com I compare to a typical native person over there. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. And then um, as you go down farther, it just um, gives you more details. And um, then as you go down farther, it gets more into detail about population history, prehistoric Britain, all the history of the region and the country, the Vikings, and the uh, um, royalty, etc. So that's pretty cool if you want to get more in depth of where you come from and where your genes and DNA are saying you are connected to. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and then the second region that I got was Finland and Northwest Russia. Um, I was not shocked by this one because my grandma on my mom's side, um, she is 75% Finland, Finnish, uh, her grandparents, I believe, I think it was her grandparents, that um, came over from Finland um, to America. So that was in like the 1800s, so it really wasn't that long ago. Um, so I knew I was going to have a lot of Finnish in me, um, but I wasn't sure how much of it was going to show up in my DNA and, and stuff like that. So... Um, yeah, I was really excited that it came up as 17%, um, and my range is 11% to 23. So, um, it does give you a range as well. This is like the average of this, um, because they test your DNA multiple times, uh, so that it gives a more accurate result for your DNA and what it's showing uh, with your regions and where you come from. <clears throat> so it would be, so it's kind of like one test showed that I was only 11% and another test showed that I was 23 and I'm sure they did more tests in between there and it kind of came out in the middle, like in this region, um, in this range somewhere. So um, then they just averaged it out and gave me the 17% because that's the most accurate and logical percentage that um, they can be confident on. So um, that's how they get these averages. Like for Great Britain, 39% to 72. So at one point when they were doing the tests, one test showed that I was 72% British. Holy crap. That is insane. <laughs> so, um, that's just totally shocking. So yeah, but they averaged it out and they just gave me this 56%. So then they do the Finnish, so it's Finland, a little bit of Sweden, and um, Estonia, Latvia, and Russia. Um, 
so yeah, and then my next one that I got was Europe East, and I was really shocked about this one because I can't trace back my ancestors to this area at all, other than, like, Germany-ish, um, but that's out in, like, that's out here, so, like, the main point part is in Poland, Poland, um, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Austria, Russia, Slovenia, Romania, etc., Latvia, all these regions here, primary lo primarily located. Um, so that kind of shocks me. Um, I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting France and Germany, like Europe West, to be mainly what I am not Europe East. So that's kind of like more research that I have to do because um, I know my grandpa, my grandpa is adopted or was adopted. He has passed away. Um, but, and I so wish that I could have gotten his um, DNA tested before he passed away so that I'd have more of a knowledge of what he is and the different regions that he com came from. I'm so sad that I could not do that. Um, so I'm. it could possibly come from him since I have no clue where his ancestors come from. Um, I mean I have a little bit of research done on his side um, but not a whole lot to be able to find this stuff. So, um, I did get my grandma's DNA done, though, um, on my dad's side. So, hopefully in the near future here, pretty soon, I will test my dad, um, so that I can kind of compare, um, his DNA to my grandma's. So then, anything extra that seems odd or weird, like possibly Europe East, where because I know my grandma is not Europe East, or very much at least. So if he were to get a whole bunch of Europe East, my dad, um, or some weird region that my grandma does not have, then I could assume and expect that that came from my grandpa, um, because we have no clue. So that would be kind of interesting to figure out what where this ties into the picture. So I'll definitely have to do that pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so then the next region I got um, is Iberian Peninsula. Uh, so I got Spain and that's Spain and Portugal and then it kind of branches off to France and Italy and Switzerland. So that's pretty cool. I haven't really traced um, like Spain and Portugal in my family history traced it back to where I could find where this is coming from. Um, but I do know I'm related to royalty um, through the British um, Empire, the British royalty, uh, way back in like the 1100s. I was able to trace that back. Um, but, uh, and then obviously once you hit royalty in Britain, then it just it goes to royalty everywhere, which includes Spain, so I don't know. But I'm seven, I get up to 15% in the range, so that's kind of interesting. So I'll have to kind of look into that more and find out why or how I am that much Iberian Peninsula. So yeah, I'll have to check that out some more. And then Scandinavia is my last main region that I got and I was super excited about this because it's mainly Sweden and Norway and Denmark and I am in love with Scandinavia and Sweden and Norway. I'm actually learning the Swedish language. Um, I've been trying to learn it for the past eight years um, but I'm getting there slowly. Obviously it's not a very prevalent language throughout the world. It's mainly just in Sweden, obviously, so it's not a huge language. 
that you can really practice a whole lot, but I've been learning and loving Sweden and that culture and the language for so long. So yeah, I'm really excited that I got Scandinavia, um, 0 to 18%, and the average that they found was 6. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited that I got some of that in me. I am Scandinavian, I can officially say, so that's pretty cool. And I know my grandpa on my mom's side has um, some a lot more Scandinavian, so I know that's probably where that came from. And then after you get through the main, um, the main regions that you are from, your DNA is showing you are from, um, it goes into trace regions, so you'll click here, and it shows that 3% of my DNA, they couldn't, they pinpointed, kind of, um, basically a trace region, if you click this question mark, it says, that these regions um, seem to have a trace amount, you seem to have a trace amount of that in your genetic and ethnicity, but only a small amount of evidence supports this. Um, uh, because the estimate is so small, it's possible that it's just by chance and not actually part of your genetics, so it kind of just gives you a disclaimer there that they think this could possibly be part of your DNA a little bit, but they can't be 100% positive. They're not super confident about it. So um, I got European Jewish, 0 to 4%, so they gave me 1%. Um, so yeah, I had no idea I would have European Jewish in there. That's pretty cool. Um, and I know I tested my mom and my grandparents and they had some European Jewish in them so I'm sure that's where this comes from. Um, so that's really interesting. Kind of the same region as Europe East uh, but branches out a whole lot more. So yeah that's kind of cool. And then I got Europe West which that shocked me a lot. I thought I was gonna get a lot more Europe West because my grandma on my dad's side is mainly Europe West that's like the main region she got, um, that and Ireland. So how I only got 1% and less than 1% shocks me because of how much she has, but I'm going to assume that Great Britain and Finland kind of overtook all my genes and DNA and kicked it out of there for some reason. So I got more of, more of my mother's um, a DNA, I'm gonna assume. But yeah, so that's where I most likely got this, Europe West, Germany, and France, because yeah, my grandma on my dad's side, her family all came from Germany. And then Ireland, so it's mainly Ireland, and it goes into Scotland and Wales, and then it kind of branches off into Great Britain again, but yeah, those are my trace regions, so that's pretty interesting to see. And then if we go here, oops. So yeah, that is all my regions. My main ones are the dark colors, and then the trace regions are just the outlined um, regions there, these three. So yeah, I am mainly Europe, European. I am 100% European. So that is what I am. Um, and then also if you want to see all the regions that were available and that was tested, you go here and then it shows, you know, Africa, Native American, which I really thought I was going to get Native American because we have stories in the family about um, being Native American, and I could possibly still be Native American, it's just no DNA was passed on to me, um, because maybe it was so far in the past, and other things overtook that little bit of DNA that's Native American, um, so then it wasn't passed on to me, that could possibly it be it, but I can't be for sure. Um, and then Asia, and then all of Europe, and Pacific Islander and West Asia. 
So yeah, those are all the regions that you could possibly have some DNA in. Um, I'll go back. Whoops. So yeah, these are... But that's my map. That is my DNA, and this is where I'm from. I'm 100% Europe. It's super awesome. I'm definitely white with a little bit of Spain in there. So, um, so yeah, I'm really excited about it. And I was really shocked, especially about the Great Britain and how much of a Brit I am. So anyone out there that's British, I know I'm American and I have an American accent, but I'm, I'm so close to you. I'm so close to you. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll get back to the video here so you can see my face since we're pretty much done with this. All right, so um, yeah, that was my ethnicity. Um, wanted you guys to see it, kind of get a feel of what it's like and um, what you can do and see with it and get around the site. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, liked it um kind of got a feel of what you could potentially um get and what kind of results you could get with your um dna test if you go through ancestry.com um but yeah it's just super fun i really encourage you guys to do it um i will be comparing my results to the 23andme um fairly shortly so yeah um when we get that test result those test results back we'll be able to compare and I will definitely make another video of showing you the results of that one and kind of comparing to the ancestry.com one and see how much is similar if there's a little bit of a difference in there if there's more um if there's more in-depth um testing to 23andMe compared to Ancestry if it gives you a little bit more. So we'll see how that goes, but I know 23andMe is a lot more money than Ancestry, so you kind of just have to weigh your options on which one you would rather do or if you would want to do both like me because I am in love with Ancestry and genetics and DNA. So yeah, um, Definitely, if you guys did this test, let me know, or if you're wanting to and you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section below, and yeah, I will definitely answer them if I can. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy me and us, so make sure to follow along and get in the groove. I'm a Brit, you know. Okay, hold on, I can do a British accent. No, I can't. I'm a Brit. And I am from England. <laughs> Europe. <laughs> That's so bad. I feel so bad. <laughs> because I really love, I really love the British accent. I really do. I love the English accent. So I am not trying to butcher it, I swear. <laughs> I swear. It's so much easier for an English person to do an American accent. But it's super hard for Americans to do an English accent. Or at least it is for me. And like a lot of people. It's like, what? Why? I wish I could do a British accent. But I can't. <laughs> I'm going to bed before either of you feel another clever idea to just killed. Or worse, expelled. <laughs> I am a native Brit in my genes and my DNA, but I can't do an English accent. Accent, accent, accent. What do you say? You say words differently, but I like it. Like the, the, the cabinet, like we call, like it's the same word. It's English, but we say it totally different. Like you actually, like British people actually say the cabinet, like the cabinet. But we say cabinet. <laughs> like, I think we're just lazy. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Like, cabinet. Or cabinet. <laughs> oh my god. That's horrible. That actually sounds really bad. 
like or what other word what other words are there that are British that sound way better and cooler than American so in America we say schedule and British people say schedule schedule like a shed schedule is that right like I'm really not making fun of anybody I swear I love the English accent I wish I could be English trust me I wish I could be English we pronounce water water like water like we're just water water <laughs> literally the American accent is kind of horrible <laughs> um but of course British have to be more British people have to be more posh apparently and they say it water water say like water 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 that's so fun I wish I seriously wish that I could just speak like that water honey can you give me some water hey hun grab me some water Ooh, killing it over here killing it this has gone into like British versus English pronunciation <laughs> from a genie from a DNA ancestry video <laughs> oh that's it vitamin that's like the big one I find it awesome like it's funny because I'm just not used to it being like pronounced like that but when I heard it I'm like what you pronounce it like that like what that's like super cool like I wish I could pronounce like I'm just gonna start pronouncing it like that all the time now you in the US we say we pronounce it vitamin vitamin like it vitamin vitamin hey yo give me some vitamins okay but in the UK you pronounce it vitamin 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 I need some vitamins over here with my water that's so cool I swear I'm not making fun this is cool vitamin water vitamin water there's vitamin water like this is American vitamin water like we have vitamin water I'm I'm sure there's vitamin water in the UK possibly I don't know exactly because I've never been there but I'm sure it's all over the world vitamin water and I actually don't like that kind of water but so we pronounce it vitamin water hey get me some vitamin water and then here's the British person honey give me some vitamin water give me some vitamin water that's so cool okay anyways I'm gonna end this now because it's gonna like be super long I just find that super hilarious and fun and the difference between cultures just across the sea is hilarious I psh, trust me if I could just like go overseas be in England as a child and then come back to America and just be like whoa that'd be pretty cool because I would love an English accent I would love it very much so anyway um I am going to go now I hope you guys enjoyed this video got a little laugh and saw what is inside me in my jeans and yeah I will see you guys in my next video the next one's gonna be pretty funny and it's going to be with my husband so it's going to be pretty awesome I'm just saying all right I will see you guys next time live your adventure bye